It also takes a, a strong person to be to, to take the first step. Yeah, it's really hard. Which is what <laughs> you did, and and that's I think maybe is where people struggle, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. you almost you're fearful of what the response is going to be, if mm. even if you do try to mm. mend this route. Well, there's somebody in my life that I that I grew up with a friend. I grew up with a very very good friend, and we had, you know, all through our lives a very a very intense friendship where it would be absolutely awful or the most brilliant ever with loads of laughter and loads of tears and and it and it became too dysfunctional really for me the relationship and so I, I made a conscious decision that it was better for my health my family's health mm. not to see her anymore but it does worry me it does worry me that if or where if she were to die before me how would I be left feeling? Yeah. I have a because friend like that intensity. who hasn't spoken to me for 20 years and she's very, oh. very ill now. And I think about her all the time, but I oh. know that she doesn't want to see me and it does my head in. Oh. And it's like um, completely, I know exactly what you're saying. Mm. I used to go on holiday with her and go on walking holidays and then she got sick and then she just kind of withdrew from the world and doesn't want to communicate. And so it's not a feud, it's a kind of friendship that just stopped mm. and it is like that's, unfinished business oh that's that's awful mm. i mean i i did i did make the decision and it wasn't a difficult decision to stop seeing her um and it does cause me sadness but i feel somehow that i can't do it because i when i made the decision it felt so right mm. but like you yeah. When it's the day of, comes, yeah, what's that going to no, be like? There's no guidebook. I mean, that's the no. thing is... Well, you're also, Ida, you don't have to always like your relatives. You've got them, mm. you've got them. You didn't choose them, they're just there. <laughs> Do you hear that, Gwen? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I always say to people, oh, I don't like my auntie so-and-so, or, you know, I don't feel comfortable. And I think, don't have a problem with it. You didn't go out there and pick them in a shop. You just yeah. got them. Yeah. You know, you're not yeah. going to get on with all of them and you can make yourself feel very stressed out and very depressed if you try to get on with everyone. So mm -hmm. just get on with the relatives you can yeah. get on with. <laughs> <laughs> very